Hello everyone, I'm here in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. I have a few hours window to stay here and do a short episode. So my name is Robert and I'm a content creator and my passion is to help you become a content creator. So right now I want to talk about how you can use natural sound to make your videos more engaging. So I'm walking towards uh, Bentang Market, which is a popular place here in um, Ho Chi Minh City. So I want to talk about natural sound. What is a natural sound? It's the sound that gets picked up by your camera or your microphone as you're filming your travel vlogs. So as I'm walking towards Bentang Market, uh, you would hear the sound of the people, the sound of cars. Oh, this is a popular place here in Ho Chi Minh City. So. This is a perfect place to demonstrate my topic for today. So what happens if you don't have natural sound? So on this next part, I'm gonna cut the video and remove the natural sound and put music instead. So you would notice the difference. It's more engaging if you're hearing the natural sound. It brings you closer to the experience and it gives you a clear idea of what's happening as you are watching. So if you're doing a travel vlog, try to make use of natural sounds and of course, I'm using my zoom microphone right now. So I'm picking up my volume a bit clearer. But when you're doing editing your camera, in this case my GoPro, is picking up its own sound. I'm gonna demonstrate how the GoPro microphone sounds like. And this is what my Zoom microphone is picking up. So you see when you're recording from two devices, the camera and a lav mic, you get to have two separate files. So when you're doing editing, it's better if you enhance the audio coming from the camera and not the audio coming from your love mic because you should let the love mic keep the clarity of your dialogue and it makes it more raw makes it more authentic if you enhance the natural sound picked up by your camera as i walk back to my hotel i'm gonna allow my camera to pick up a bit more of the natural sound as you would notice it brings you closer to where I'm, I'm at right now you get to experience it like I do as I'm filming it by the way it's 8 p.m. here in Ho Chi Minh before I actually went out I did some research uh, to find out if it's safe to walk with my GoPro at this hour of the night here apparently it's safe uh, the idea is you know just the idea is to just walk in crowded places like this and you're safe so another thing with natural sound is that you would have to figure out a way to fix it because you're not able to monitor the sound as you're recording because when using uh, proper cameras and proper audio gear you would get the help of someone to monitor the audio for you but if you're doing a travel vlog like this one mostly it's just you you're probably holding the camera on one hand and you have the microphone clipped on your shirt my hotel is just a few meters from Benta Market so before I end I want to show you uh, a few snapshots of this place it's really busy here at this time of the night so it's 8 p.m. right now and 9 p.m. Singapore time. So, a 
up there in front. This is what makes Ho Chi Minh City actually Vietnam popular. This bulk of motorcycles here. This bulk of motorcycles here that you see. This is very common. This is very common in Vietnam. So fun to see roads filled with motorcycles. walking towards my hotel right now I'm gonna call it a day and, and tomorrow I need to be up early because I'm uh, teaching the last session of uh, video content creation for a small group of major practitioners here in uh, Ho Chi Minh City where's my hotel really decent hotel so thank you for watching and I hope you learned something from this short episode so if you like what you watch here, please hit subscribe and share this video to your friends who are also travel bloggers. And I hope to see you on my next videos.